This your boy Crazy Crack House, and I was here today to make this video on a shoe that me personally, I fell in love with the shoe since the first time I saw it online that it was releasing. Uh, I put the stash to the side and I was actually able to get it. I didn't even get it on drop day. Uh, I got hit with snipes on a restock and that's actually how I got the shoe. I, you know, I don't buy resale. Uh, I am not a reseller. I really buy kicks and collect kicks for the fun and love of it. And I've had this love for a long time. Uh, I have an amused collection uh, of kicks that I buy for me. And I do wear them. Sometimes I sit on them for a year, year and a half, but eventually they do come out the box. This shoe here and why I'm making this video is because I watched maybe I want to say 15, 20 videos on this shoe. You know, the on foot, you know, the conversation about it, what was going on with it. And, and I felt like the shoe was misinformation. And if you really want this shoe, if you are on the fence for it, this is the shoe for you, man. Even if you take it and you put it away and you hold it for a year, I think the shoe goes to three fifty to four hundred dollars without even breathing. Uh, once everybody really finds the value in it, and I have the shoe right here. It is the Dunk NBA Edition, and one of the most found things that I found about this shoe. Um, like I said, I'm making a view just based on guys saying, "Oh, the leather's crappy. Oh, the shoe is shitty." This is a dunk. It's made if you I don't know, you know, it to each his own, but dunk is dunk. Dunk either going to make you a soft leather or in between leather or hard leather. This shoe here was well crafted and it's sad that, you know, guys were giving information on it. I don't know, basically I got it here. If you can see these swirls in them, they change patterns with the with the light, you know, and that's something that a lot of, you know, they talked about it. And it does have like that bowling ball effect. Like if you went to the lanes and you wanted to bowl and, and the patterns change as the sun hit it. This is a remarkable shoe. And every guy who did this review that said that this was a cheesy shoe, that the leather, this feels good. You cannot compare a Dunk to a Jordan. You know, you can take a three and a three has tumble leather, which is to me the most beautiful Jordan leather. And that's one of the that's why number three is one of my favorite shoes i only really care for number one and number three but this shoe here and where they went wrong on it i'm really gonna let you see it you know they really went wrong on this shoe this is a holographic shoe you know this this shoe is holographic and i don't you know a lot of people don't understand that and i didn't either you know what i mean i just liked it because it was you know how many shoes you're going to get with well, the NBA let you put, you know, you got a shoe with a stitched NBA logo. That is not an iron on. It's a well stitched patch, you know, and that's something that a lot of people didn't really hit on. But if you can see, I'm going to move the shoe up and down. That holographic patch changes from a Nike check to the NBA logo. Each time you move or each time a different part of light hit it. It, it's, it's a holographic reflection that changes on its own. It's a consistent change. If you can see, uh, let me see if I can get it in the light good for you. But as you can see right there, see? Each time I move it, it changes. That go to Nike, that go to Nike check, that go to NBA. Nike check, NBA. And that's something that, this shoe is well, well crafted. You know, it's, 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 it's a hard leather, and that's probably why a lot of guys say that, but this shoe is... I would probably put it at better than a mid. You know, if you buy Jordan mids, you know, I, it, it's, it's a similar or same feel. But, and I'm really on the fence about really just doubling up on it and put a, put a pair away and hold on to them. By next All-Star, you know, we're, we're talking, you know, triple your investment on this shoe. Me personally, I'm going to wear the shoe. You know, they call this mint green or, you know, whatever they want to call it. I do have the other shoe here. You know, they call this color barely green or mint green. I have no idea what the hell this color is. You know, to me, it's a mint. It's, it's a light, 
it's a light colored mint and and that's the most you know the thing that you know a lot of people when they you know the north carolinas drop and uh the og1 north carolinas and the one thing that a lot of people were complaining about uh with that drop was a lot of glue stains dunks are well crafted shoes man i i don't know i've been i've been striking out on dunk for so long i only go for the high-end ones i'm not gonna lie to you if it's not a high-end dunk i'm not even wasting my time and i've i've entered i enter raffles all over the damn world to try to get a shoe if i really like it but you know people were complaining about this part you know like let me see i got a good a glimpse there but if i can get it you know they were, part, they were complaining about this part of the leather, but this shoe is well crafted, man. And as you can see, the swirl, see? It did it then. As you move the shoe, it changes, man. Flat. Now you see the lines. Flat black. Now you see the lines. I just want you to, you know, I'm not trying to get anybody to buy the shoe. I don't give a damn. This is my shoe. These are going on my feet as soon as summer comes. But... You know, me, I wear a shoe once a year, you know, if I'm lucky. And my shoes never see the street. You know, if I wear a shoe in January, I may not be able to put that shoe back on to next January. And I don't even wear my J's when it's snowing or raining or, you know, I got the, all the adapts, you know, and, and, and I'm a shoe lover. I'm not, I'm not dating the shoes. I'm, I'm actually marrying them when i love them and that's why i'm trying to get the real word out on this shoe man if for anybody if you are on the fence to buying these you know i would recommend buying them now you know they're still cheap and we have to understand dunks are taking over period i don't care what nobody say you know you can jjj yourself to death you know i think i got 125 130 pair of j's and maybe 60 of them never even seen the ground. I've never even put them on my feet. You know, never even tried them on. But I get them so when I'm ready to step out and get G'd, I always got a fresh pair of kicks. And that's the name of the game. I don't give a fuck what everybody else is buying. When I like it, I like it. And I'm rolling with it. And and that's why my fun for these, as, as you can see, them sh that changing color shit is what got me. I'm not doing an on-foot review. That's 50 dudes got on-foot reviews. And those 50 dudes also said that, oh, this is a cheap constructed shoe. And, oh, the leather's not that great. This is an incredible shoe. The whole fucking shoe is holographic, man. This shit changed like a chameleon, man. You go in the dark, this joint turned black. You know what I mean? You come back out to the light, them swirls start changing. You go from a mint green solid black to swirly. You can see the swirls in the shoe right there. But as soon as you come back out, that, that joint turned black. And that's something that nobody talked about about this shoe. They never talk about the chameleon. I guess that's why, you know, there's not a lot of information on it. And the holographic part of it is really, you know, what makes this shoe that. Me personally, you know, with me doing this review, see that go to Nike check right there. Change it back, you got NBA. That go to holler. I got a good picture of it for you. Right there. Watch that right there. Nike check. NBA. Nike check. Uh, come on, Nike check. Where you at? But you get my point. And me personally, I have never. And then you can see the inside of the shoe of the. Uh, I got you a good view of it. But you can see the inside of the, of, of the hologramic patch. This joint is well stitched on there. I mean, well, and whatever they put inside there, man, it changes with the light. You know, I could flip this shoe a thousand times. That joint keeps changing. If that don't change, the shoe changed back to black. It's like a freaking, uh, the predator when he, uh, see, see how glossy it is? Line's gone. It's like the predator when he step into the woods and step out of the woods and he come back. Whoa, shit. Bang, they back. So thank everybody, man. Love your loved ones. And, you know, let's keep it real. Life is life. Life is hard. 
but hey man enjoy yourself enjoy life and love the ones that are in your life and everything else will work out for itself but this and you can hold this video will be an incredible shoe in six to 12 months just purely because there is no nba all-star game ever going to be in indianapolis indiana and they had pre-made the patch this patch does not say atlanta and they balled out in atlanta i wish i could have been there but coronavirus got me in the bubble peace people enjoy your life